Okay, hang on. What? Be disemboweled by a Japanese sushi chef and served on a platter to Justin Bieber? What? Hey everybody and welcome back to a brand new video where today we return to the world of Would You Rather because you guys really liked the previous one and I thought I'd do it again. So if you haven't seen this before, basically you are given two options which you have to rather pick one of them that you would rather do. So this first one we have is be a genius in a world of unintelligent people or be unintelligent in a world of geniuses. Now of course, it's a tricky one. It is a tricky one. So would we rather be really clever in a world of stupid people or be stupid in a world of clever people. Now the phrase uh, that is a oh, famous phrase goes ignorance is bliss, which basically means if you're stupid, you don't realize things that are happening properly. So you don't worry ever. So I don't know. I don't know. Be you could could be unintelligent. That would would be helpful because you wouldn't really understand things. You'd just be able to go through life happy, probably. But then again, you'd know that you are very uh, uh, un unequipped to deal with the other people. But then again, you would be very clever. Uh, you know, you'd be not not very clever. Um, very um. Um, very special in the world of things. But if you're a genius in a world of unintelligent people, you'd be, probably be seen as like a god, probably, maybe, because you'd be the one inventing everything. You'd know all about like sciences and stuff. You'd be able to create things to help everyone else. And they'd be like, this man is amazing, which is basically what Steve Jobs was at Apple, I, I feel. <laughs> so, and, and Bill Gates, in fact, too. Just, just all of those top people who invent amazing things that help us. Like we wouldn't have computers if it weren't for them. But what I'm gonna go for is I think I'm gonna go for a genius in a world of unintelligent people because and genius in a world of unintelligent people for I believe that that would be the more fun thing you get to have so much fun doing things inventing things creating things and everyone would get to enjoy them so I'm gonna go for that <gasps> Wow, 79%. Yeah, that is a that is a hefty amount right there. Okay, let's go to the next one. Only listen to the Beatles or only listen to the Rolling Stones. I'm going to have to just, I'm going to have to pick the Beatles. I'm just going to, yeah, 61. A lot of people agree with me there. And I presume that would also be the one where people would pick the most things. So how about the next one? Would you rather tea or coffee? Obviously, I am British, so I'm going to say tea because just relaxing with a nice cup of tea after a hard day's work or school or whatever is the best. Although I do like a tea, a coffee as well. I like I like having a nice mocha to get me up uh, sometimes. If I'm ever out, I'll go pick one up and enjoy it. The best mochas, I will have you know, can be found at the uh, Royal Pacific Resort in Universal Studios Orlando. Those are the best mochas in the world. I had the best I've ever had. There's probably better, but the best that I've ever had of all the places I've been to, it's there. So anyway, T53, it's pretty split. It's pretty split. I think the tea people, British people answering this, the coffee people, American answering this. If you had one hour left to live, would you rather spend your last moments with your family or do something crazy that you've always been scared to do? Oh, it's a hard one. It's a hard one. One hour. What would you, what would I do that was crazy? What have I been scared to do? I don't think I've really been scared to do much stuff. Cause if I, for example, cliff diving, I can do it fairly, fairly low down. But if I was at the top of the cliff doing it, terrified couldn't do it so i just spend the entire hour stood there terrified i wouldn't be able to jump off so i'm gonna say spend your last moments because i wouldn't be able to build up the courage in an hour to do something crazy because you just gotta you gotta build it up in bits you know but oh my that is more split than I expected. 51 for family and 49 for something crazy. But you know what, guys? Why don't you let me know in the comments below what is something crazy that you would like to do? Would you want to go skydiving, cliff jumping? Uh, what else is there that's crazy? Drive a supercar around? That'd be crazy. I mean, I can't I can't drive, and I presume that you guys probably can't either, but that would be fun to just do it and not know how to do it properly. Anyway, yeah, do let me know what you think is a crazy thing. So let's go to the next one. We have <gasps> eat your own hand or eat, eat a loved one's eye. Wait, hang on. If you were starving, what? If I was starving, why would I be eating my own hand? I guess the thing is, if you're starving on a remote island and there's no food or something, why would you pick your hand as well? You could, like, get some... Oh, this sounds weird, but you could get some flesh from your leg because that's probably where the most flesh is that would be doing the least harm to you. But again, your hand as well. Probably It doesn't have anything. You can't eat your hand. There's nothing on it, really. But eating a loved one's eye. How would that help starving as well? That is about probably that big, and it probably offers no nutritional value whatsoever, and it would be disgusting and painful for both people. 
I'm actually, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say own hand. As, as stupid as this question is, 66% say that, yeah. 34% of people want to cause their loved ones pain unless the loved one has died. <laughs> I don't know. Let's go to the next one. Okay, hang on. What? Be disemboweled by a Japanese sushi chef and served on a platter to Justin Bieber. What? Why is that a question? That is the weirdest question in existence. Or would you rather run through a pride of starving lions wearing Lady Gaga's meat dress? Again, bizarre. Um, I feel like a because if you if you're disemboweled by a Japanese sushi chef, you're dead anyway. You're dead the moment you say yes to that. But running through a pride of starving lions wearing Lady Gaga's meat dress, however, you may not be killed by it. You may be. I don't know. Could you be? They may think it's a trap or something weird. Would you have to keep the meat dress on, however, or could you tear off the meat and fling it about? That would save you. So I'm actually going to say starving lions. 67 people people 67 percent of people say that so yeah that that makes the most sense to me if you were stuck in the woods would you rather have a tomahawk or have a knife um if you don't know what a tomahawk is it's like a, a small axe it's about sort of um it's like a, it's like a pea shape what would be the most useful because i'm pretty sure a tomahawk would work as a knife surely because it's got a sharp like edge on it and it's probably easier to like chop things down so i'm gonna say tomahawk that seems like the most useful one yeah 67 64 not 67 that was the last one yeah that makes more sense to me to have a tomahawk than to have a knife because if the tomahawk has a knife like capability then why not why not so would you rather be always be overdressed or always be underdressed now this is a tough one because say you're going to a fancy restaurant always be overdressed that works there you're always overdressed you're wearing fancy clothes anyway that's fine however if you're underdressed they're not going to let you in because if you're wearing like a t-shirt and gym shorts and sandals, they're not going to let you go in because you're underdressed. But then if you think, what would be an occasion where it's fine to be both, right? When I guess if you're in the house, that's fine, doesn't matter. But if you're going out to like <laughs> get, get something from the shops, you don't want to be wearing a full suit and everything just to be getting things or always be underdressed. Is underdressed wearing like t-shirt and shorts to a shop or is underdressed changing into different things depending on the occasion because if you go to the shop you could just be literally in your underwear because then you're underdressed for there i think i think overdressed really because you're not going to be able to get into a lot of places <laughs> underdressed would you rather be a sports star or be a celebrated academic i think maybe I don't know, because if you're a sports star, everyone knows your name, everyone knows who you are, you're incredibly rich. However, being a celebrated academic, you could also be just as famous, but in a different world almost, like, because they're completely separate things, sports and like sciences. I'm gonna say academic, actually. I think I'd have more like, uh, <laughs> how would you describe it? More honor in being a celebrated academic, but oh my gosh, it's actually pretty evenly split there, wow. I guess, I guess some people would want to be sports stars, some people would... Yeah, yeah, I can see both appeals for both, really. Would you only eat stuffing for the rest of your life or only drink gravy? I'm gonna say stuffing because stuffing, oh, it's good. Oh my gosh, I just, I can't get enough of it. Oh my God, it's nice and crispy on the outside and then when it's like freshly cooked and it's hot and it's soft, oh, oh my gosh, oh, I can't. I can't even. I'm just dreaming, dreaming about stuffing now. Wow, yeah, that, that's, that was an easy one for me. Okay, next up we have, you don't want to be lonely. Would you rather only date people with severe or obsessive convulsive disorder or only date chain smokers? I cannot stand people who smoke. It's, it's disgusting. I do not like the, 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 like the smell of it because I have asthma, so I can barely breathe properly when I'm around people like that. So it's definitely the OCD because, you know, it's, you could probably, you'd probably get used to it with them. You know, you love them for who, you, for, for who they are. So it comes with all their traits. So anyway, next one we have, would you rather live in isolation or face your biggest fear once a month? Mm -mm -mm. My, okay, my biggest fear, I would probably have to say, is swimming in deep, deep ocean water in the middle of nowhere. I'm thinking about it right now and I can't think, but I'm gonna, oh, I can't, I couldn't deal with that. I couldn't, mate, but I guess if you're facing your biggest fear once a month, you get over it pretty quick, I'd say. But I'm, I'm literally, getting like I, I feel horrible right now i feel anxious thinking about it i don't know maybe we'll have to face our biggest fear because i reckon we'll get used to it and it'll be fine as terrifying as swimming in the ocean will be it'll be that okay 72 percent yeah because other people probably also had the same thought process of you'll get used to it would you rather eat only chinese food all the time or eat only mexican food all right 
I'm gonna go with Chinese food because I'm not actually that big of a Mexican food fan, but Chinese food, there is a lot there that's good stuff. Okie doke, we have, would you rather get $20,000 worth of jewelry or get $10,000 worth of electronics? This is an easy one because I get the $20,000 worth of jewelry, sell it, and then buy $20,000 worth of electronics, boom. See, people didn't think that through. They did not think that through at all. So there you go. See, clever, clever thinking right there. There we are, good, I'm a, I'm a genius. Would you rather live in a penthouse in the city or live in a mansion in the country? Well, I, I don't know. Um, Cause I, I'm actually looking to get a penthouse in London. So, so I've, I, that is something I'm actually doing. So I'd say it's obviously that one for me. But a mansion in the country, as nice as it would be, you're in the country, you're not near anything. Uh, the internet is probably terrible, so I couldn't do my job properly, which is why I wanna live in, in a central city in a nice place. So that is where I'm going. Would you rather have an iPhone or have an Android device? Uh, Android device, I say, because I have never had an iPhone. I've had an iPod, uh, several, several iPod touches actually, but uh, the Android device, that's it for me. I love the customization. I love everything. This is not a sponsored video by Android that I've sneakily stuck, snuck in here and faked, it's not. I'd have an Android device. I just I just love the usability more. The iPhone, as nice and clean as it is, the Android device, it's just so much more fun to use. But more people would like an iPhone. Wow. All right, let's go to the next one. We'll see, would you rather paint your nails or wear high heels? I'd say paint your nails because I think it's actually coming into fashion that men are painting their nails nowadays. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that is a thing. But wearing high heels, I don't think will ever be a thing for men. I'd say paint your nails because that gives you so much more like freedom and it's not too weird either. I don't know, if I was to paint my nails, I'd have to let them actually grow properly and not bite them too much because I cannot, <laughs> I can't not not bite them. Is that how you say it? I can't, I cannot not not bite them. I don't know if that's correct or not. I don't know, well, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. We'll not, we'll not get hung up on grammar right now. Okay, let's go to the next one. Would you rather have two left hands or two left feet? Hmm, I don't, I think that two left hands would be a problem. However, two left feet, you'd have to buy two left shoes all the time. So two left hands, I'm gonna go with that one, I think. Well, no, 54% of people would rather, I don't see what would be weird about having two left hands though. Like I can't, I mean, ooh, I, I write with my left, I write with my right hand. So that would be tricky. I'd have to learn to do it with my left. Or, or I could do it with both, the either. it doesn't matter really, does it? Oh, wow, I'm quite surprised that more people would say two left feet, honestly. Would you rather spend a year with the Pope or spend a year with the Dalai Lama? I don't know, cause that's a tricky one because the Dalai Lama would have so much like wisdom and stuff to give you, but the Pope is just sort of like, hello, I am the Pope. I guess that'd be quite fun because then you could win the game. If you don't know what the game is, it's just, it's a thing where you say you have lost the game and whenever you remember the game you lose the game but the only way to win the game is by knocking off the pope's hat which i would definitely do in an instant and i would have won i would be one of the few winners in the world who have knocked off the pope's hat and won the game but let's go to the next one always have sticky fingers or always have bad breath Ooh, that's not good that's not good at all with bad breath you could use mints and stuff i guess but 74 percent would rather have sticky fingers no couldn't deal with that i touched too many things Alrighty, well it seems the website has actually just gone down so i guess that's it today for would you rather uh if you enjoyed the video make sure you give it a big old like and if you want to see more awesome content every single day make sure to smash that subscribe button too so until next time bye